did Tully view it as a demotion at first after being a top single star for so long? So having to transition into that tag team, was that a demotion in your eyes or how did you take that? No, it was um, the horseman thing was so big. You, you, it was nothing, it, nothing was a demotion at that time, but Arn and I, it was logical to put us together because Barry, when he, when we, when we switched him to be a horseman, when he switched heel, you had Rick and Barry, who were two of the greatest performers ever in the business as singles. And it, it, it just made sense to put me with Arn. And it, it was, I didn't take it as a demotion at all. We actually, by adding Barry, became stronger as a group. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. Um, you know, when I think Four Horsemen, obviously, Oli, rest in peace. But when Barry came, it, it added a different element. Uh, oh, God. All athleticism, could talk. Uh, he, he had that championship, uh, you know, cry, DNA, if you will, bringing that with him to, to the Horsemen. Oh, when, when we did, when, when we, he switched heel, I think we were in Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> We, we almost couldn't get out of town. I bet. <laughs> Eric Tate wants to know, because we got a lot of questions, and I want to give them their, the, as many opportunities as possible, says Telly, and, and you can decide to choose how you want to answer all these, obviously. Did you walk out at a TV taping in the old WWF in the 80s? Did I walk out of a TV taping? And, and, and when you worked for the WWF in 89, do you ever recall walking out of a TV taping by chance? I didn't work for the WWF, WWE, in 1989. I worked for them in 88. And I got let go in, uh, when we were trying to go to uh, Atlanta, WCW, and uh, reform the Four Horsemen. And uh, that's when the my drug sure. uh, test came back and uh, they let me go and then consequently left the other company, didn't, didn't want to hire me then. And their whole company did drugs. And uh, well, they didn't even have a drug policy. That's and, true. Uh, uh, you know, and, and the biggest, the biggest issue that I have with that is those people were liars. And uh, yes, I flunked the drug test, but to be blackballed and taken out of wrestling was illogical, but it happened. And that's how I came to uh, know Christ as my savior, my life changing for the last 35 years and the things that I have done. Um, and uh, I wouldn't have it any other way, uh, except I would have, wish that they wouldn't have taken money from arm. Right. And, I understand uh, that. No. And it's, it's interesting. You know, we, as wrestling fans, we sit here and we're like, we want, we wanted more Tully back then and the four horsemen and all that. But for you and your life personally, as you look back on it, sitting here today and we sit here doing this live, we have almost 400 people watching us right now live and more and, and thousands more watching the replay and listen that needed to happen for you in your life. Wouldn't you say in order to take the turn uh, that you Oh, did? absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it, it is God orchestrated that whole deal because it needed to be something that was, that was impactful for 